So update on the air conditioning situation. We did get this portable unit put in. Uh, it just sits here on the floor, a pipe that goes right out the window. And then we've got this drainage pipe going into a five gallon bucket, which actually without us kicking it into dehumidifier mode, it has not been creating a whole lot of water. So that's good. Uh, it's actually a little open right now, but what we did as part of this solution to keep the air cool in here because our floor plan is way too open for this 700, 750 square foot unit to cool everything. We hung this blanket up in the doorway and so it's blocked off so now we just have the living room, dining room, and kitchen instead of also the school room and any other rooms where doors were open attached in here. And that's really, really making a big difference in this area. So we've got the central AC turned off and we just run this portable unit with maybe uh, two fans, sometimes four fans, but we just run some fans with it just to get that air moving all around the house. So, it's good. Hello everyone. So it is Sunday and we just um, got back eh, maybe an hour or so ago from my grandparents' house. They gave us two grocery bags full of tomatoes and onions. So we are going to enjoy those. So far in the garden from the seeds that we planted, we have got uh, new stuff already coming up. I'm hoping with the three-sided chicken cage that we've got going on that uh, it'll reduce predators, hopefully down to zero, that are gonna come in and eat that garden. My grandpa also gave us two more tomato plants, some early girls, so I'm hoping with their uh, short production cycle that we should have some tomatoes before the end of the year on those growing in our own yard because I'm just not quite sure what these paste tomatoes are that I got from the store and how tasty those would be on anything other than making like a paste out of them since they're called a paste tomato. So I'm going to get those early girls in the ground. Time to mow, but first, I need to see if I can clean out this filter. All right, so I hope I've done this right, but what I did is I took the foam off this paper filter here, washed this, didn't do anything with this. So now I'm gonna put it back together and put it back on. thing is still overdue for an oil change because they said you're supposed to do it after the first mow but I haven't got the uh, oil filter for it yet so we're still running the same oil So the front yard and the backyard are mowed and both the sides. So the next step is to mow the back 
path out to the field, uh, out to the barn back there, the pole barn. But sometimes when I'm out there mowing, I see deer. So I'm gonna get my wife to join me on this mow, just in case we run into any, she'll get to see them too. But look at this behind me. I sure hope that this branch didn't whack me on the face. This looks like a poison ivy tree. I know it's really just a bunch of vines intertwined together on the fence, but I mean, they're so tightly wound together, it almost looks like a tree trunk. And yeah, I've got enough poison ivy as it is. I'm already on round two. Um, had one round of poison ivy, got rid of that. And then when we were doing the chicken wire fence for the garden, I got my second round of poison ivy. Uh, it's probably just a fact of life out here, something I'll have to get used to. It seems to be everywhere. So let's go get the wife and she can go for a ride with us. Well, the grass is mowed except for what needs to be push mowed. So we didn't see any deer on the ride. We're not coming back out here for a walk. Sometimes they come right behind us after we leave and get on the freshly mowed path. So they could be back here. But other than that, I think that's it for today. It's all the updates that we have. There may be more that I'm forgetting, but until next time, have a good one.